Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to clone a board in Jira. This will work for either a Scrum or Kanban style, but this is only going to work for a company managed project. Please make sure you're subscribed, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. But seriously, please make sure you are subscribed. Let's jump into Jira. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go to any company managed project. I'm just gonna randomly pick one here. Once you're in a project, you're going to see that you have a board. And again, this will work for either Kanban or Scrum. It doesn't really matter. The steps are gonna be exactly the same, but I do want you to be aware that this is an involved process. So pay special attention to this whole thing because if you skip a step, you're gonna be in trouble and you're not gonna get the results you want. So make sure you follow these instructions very carefully watch the video a couple times if you have to because these steps are very very critical that you do these in the right order and that you don't skip a single step all right so to clone the board ideally you just need to know which board you want to be the source board so i'm going to take this turkey board and we're looking up here and we're looking at turkey board so you got to remember the name and you want to look at the number the id of that board this is number 18, okay? Now this is the easy part. <laughs> the rest of this stuff, this is where we start getting very involved. So at the URL level, you're gonna wanna go up to the top and pretty much delete everything after slash Jira. Here, you're gonna wanna type in boards, plural. Very, very important that it's a plural because if you just put board as a singular, it ain't gonna work. So you wanna make sure you put boards and which is basically plural, okay? From there, Jira is basically going to show you every single board. And so now you just got to find the board that we looked up uh, in the previous step. And so here's our turkey. And when you hover over the link, you will see at the bottom corner, really, really hard to see. So make sure you basically take zoom in if you have to here. But if you look at the bottom, you'll see board 18. And this is how you confirm that it's the right board. You want to confirm that number because multiple boards can have the exact same name. And the last thing you want to do is copy the wrong board. So make sure that the key, the ID matches from the URL and matches what's being shown when you hover below. Once you confirm that that's correct, you can come over here to the right side, click on this ellipses, and you will have the copy button. This is basically going to tell you we're going to make a copy. So go ahead and click copy again. And now you have a copy. You'll notice that you don't have the option to rename it right away. You have to just accept this copy of a turkey board. The next step from here is you want to rename it. So come over to the right side, click the ellipses. This time we're going to click on edit settings. And now it's going to take us to the main settings. Um, so you go to general if it doesn't take you there by default. But once you're there, you'll be then able to change the name. So instead of turkey, maybe I'm going to call this the, the ham board. Okay. So now we have a different board name, but this is where things get very complex. If you look at this board, the filters, the criteria, everything about it is exactly the same as the source board. This can be a good thing and it can also be a very bad thing. It's a good thing because the reason you want to copy or clone a board is because you want to preserve this, some of the settings. Another main popular reason is you want to preserve the columns. If you have a workflow that has, I don't know, seven, eight, 10, 12 different statuses or columns, it could be some tedious work to redo all of that. So copying a board will allow you to bring in and in inherit all those items and then not have to recreate all that work. But when you look at the basically the rest of the settings, you'll notice that everything about this board is a carbon copy of the previous board. And so if you actually intend to have this board live in a different project, this could be problematic. This is particularly problematic because if you are copying a Jira project and then you want to copy the board, that implies that you have basically two Jira projects. But when you clone the board, the board that you just copied is still pointing and is still going to the original. You might not want that. So if you don't want that, if you want this board 
to essentially live for another project after you've done the clone that we just did now you basically gotta basically update all the settings and this is where you can get into trouble because if you forget one if you skip one that's not gonna work so first thing you gotta do is update the location so instead of being in this project you're gonna give it to like t2 my thanksgiving 2 right that's thing one but now we have a different problem now the board technically lives in the right project but it's pulling in the wrong data the filter query if you look at it down here is for the original project the source you need to update this to your destination so you're going to do that by going to your edit filter query clicking on that and then you want to come up here and basically rename or change the project to equal the new project that you actually want this to be in so you'll hit search and then you got to hit save but now we have a different problem since I changed the name, but it had the exact same filter name, I essentially changed the name on the original. So this is a problem. You're gonna do this mistake because I just did this mistake. So when you do make the clone and you change the project, make sure you do a save as, and you call it like new filter for, tur for Thanksgiving or whatever you wanna call it, right? But just make sure that it's a new filter because if you don't, you're essentially overwriting the original and so now you broke the original so now you got to go back to the original filter find it and point it back and let me show you right so i can actually show you this filter i should be able to go to the filter for turkey board and this should still say turkey but it doesn't because i accidentally changed it so i'm just going to quickly change it back turkey and then I'm going to hit save again. I'm going to hit search and then I'll hit save. So now that original that I accidentally overwrote is back. And so now I got to go to the new one, my new filter, assuming I can find it here. Right. And now this filter is the right one, but now we got a problem because we made a new filter, a new filter is automatically assigned to just me. And so your team won't be able to see the filter. So now you got to come in here, edit the permission, open it up to the project, to the new project, hopefully. So I'll go look for that project, then click add, and then click save. So now that filter is now available for the rest of your team to see it so that now the board can show the right issues to the rest of the team. But we're not done yet. You got to go back to the project, to the new project, and you got to go, you see, I have my new handboard, so we're going to go do that. But if you come and look at it, if you look at this thing, you'll see that this is still pointing at my old turkey one because the filter is still pointing to the turkey. So now I got to come in here, edit this and find my new, my new filter for Thanksgiving. And now, now that I've done all this work, now I've successfully cloned a board so that it lives in another project. This isn't such a big deal. If you're basically trying to make a clone for the same project, you still are going to want to modify your filter query because having the exact same filter query for two boards is useless and pointless because it brings the same issues so you're, you're going to want to basically follow like that second half of those steps but because of all these steps right i just spent the what the last nine ten minutes here explaining to you how to do this and then how not to get in trouble because you will make that mistake that i made and essentially completely wipe out the original board and now you got a bigger problem right my recommendation is at the end of the day, don't clone the board. In my personal opinion, my professional opinion, I will give you the Dr. Jira, the expert opinion here. Do yourself a favor, save the headache, make a new board. Come over to Jira, go to your board, wherever, whatever project you want to do it, click on the board, click create board, pick whether you want a Kanban or Scrum, start with a new slate. Because when you do that, then the board's already configured to live in that new project. And all you got to do is just rebuild those columns and then modify that board filter ever so slightly. But it, all the other configurations, the location, the administrators, all that other good stuff is going to be set up for you for def by default. And I think, in my opinion, it's less of a headache to create from a brand new, start from a brand new board than it is to clone it. Because I, I, I feel like a lot of teams just... They feel like if they're cloning it, they're going to save steps, which technically, yeah, you're saving a couple steps, but I just showed to you that 
it does come with a heavy cost. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you found value. If you did, make sure you drop that like button. If you made that mistake like I have, make sure you empathize with me and hit that like button. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section. And if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's super important to the channel. I'm trying to get to 3,000 by the end of the year, and every subscription here will count and it matters. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you are not going to want to miss out and all this amazing content that I put out for you here. Anyways, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.